You are looking live at a crowd of 82,112 jammed in the Memorial Stadium and ready for the showdown between Texas Tech and Oklahoma. Mike Leach won the toss, no deferring. He'll take the ball. He'll be matched against a man he once worked for, Bob Stoops. When Stoops came to Oklahoma, Leach was his offensive coordinator. Stoops telling us, I know his offense as well as he does. And Leach does not have a good record here in Norman, as many of you are aware. Our journey begins. Lewis back deep. Lewis is down at the 32-yard line, and Kirk, so many impact players. Harrell hands it off on first down for a couple of yards with Shannon Woods, and here is Graham Harrell. His numbers are just unbelievable, Kirk. Veteran quarterback, 37th career start tonight. His first pass. Stands tall in the pocket. First and ten as he snapped it off that time beautifully. To... He'll come again. Flair. Here's Woods. Spins for a couple of yards. Throwing for a living. And read beautifully that time by the defense. Austin Box get to that outside passing game that Texas Tech likes so much. Show Blitz. Try to get there. Influence that pass incomplete Oklahoma State. Fielded on the 22 by Ryan Broyles. And now we'll see Sam Bradford who again has the ability to make you pay in a hurry if you leave him alone. Up-tempo Oklahoma offense. Defensive end might have jumped. We'll see how they sort that out as he goes to Grisham with the first pass of the game. Did he try to, to jump the count? Murray very deep in that eye. And again, there was... is against Oklahoma. Well, sorry. Offense, number 18. Five-yard penalty. That's Grisham, the tight end. Out. Great speed to midfield. Sooners moving. Pushed him five yards to the outside, opening things up. Sticking on the ground. Breaking off the first hit, but picking up only a couple of yards again. Much like Graham Harrell, great understanding of his offense, and he makes quick decisions. Second and eight, an option look with Murray still handling for another first down, breaking daylight across the 25-yard line. Out of bounds around the 22-yard line. Tech needs to start fast. They come back the other way with Chris Brown carrying the ball. Kevin Wilson calling the plays. Bradford is back, has all day. Throws in underneath to Gresham. Gresham battles to the two-yard line. Murray is back in as the eyeback. Matt Clapp is the lead fullback. Murray dives in zone. The linesman's marking it. Oklahoma with 201 points. That's more than about 18 teams overall. And Murray is stopped. Stood up beautifully that time. Third down and goal. The goal line defense of McNeil. Hurries into position. They're going to go wide with Murray for the first touchdown of the game. Step him outside to the right, and DeMarco Murray in with the evening's first touchdown. So our first score of the evening. But the only thing I can guarantee is it won't be the last. Texas Oklahoma showdown in Dallas so coverage a point of emphasis for Stoops and this will be Wall the defensive back from the five-yard line for the Red Raiders 
much better coverage. After the play, it ended personal foul. Oklahoma on the bench. 15-yard penalty, first down. It begins to affect both sides mentally. That delay a game here, I believe. In love. Prior to the snap, delay a game. Offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. Another flag. The Flash snap. Flash the snap, ball start. Offense, number 17, five-yard penalty, still first down. First and 20. Complete, there is Crabtree. We'll do whatever, even if we have to call his mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slips one through to Detron Lewis, the sophomore from... This is Woods. He thought he saw something, but the Sooners jumped it, and Austin Box would... And here it is, 7-0 Oklahoma, and Harrell going long... Sideline, and let's see if he... Incomplete. It is waved off. Right, I think he got his foot down. Watch the left foot come down. Swindell, Levin, he catches the football. Watch his left foot. It's down. Oh, there's a great angle right there. I think he, looks like he has control of the football. Oh, there at the end. Field, the player had a foot down inbounds, but did, they, did not make control to clear the ground. Harris has crept up, number five, and now he drops back, and they come from the other side with a blitz, trying to confuse him. Beal was there. Harrell gets it off complete, but well short. Detron Lewis. For Texas Tech. Here's his second punt. And Royals is back deep again. A little dangerous there, and he's down around the 19-yard line. Rumors swirling where he'll go. If nothing else, if he stays at Lubbock, he's going to get a lot more money. Where is Murray? He's half to a big-time start here tonight. Surprised how deep they were considering Oklahoma State wants to run the football. Same thing tonight. Fast tempo offense. Slap it to the outside. This has been a penalty marked start. Shot block. Seven. Offense. Half a distance to the goal. Repeat first down. First and 25, they'll come in underneath and get a few back. That's Cheney. Second and 16, and Bradford. Going to go deep on the far side. Incomplete, he overthrew. What, third and 16. He's got plenty of time. Diving for the ball was Johnson. Into the game for Texas Tech, number 12. He's waiting here at the 32. A fearless elf, I might add. Haven't really even attempted yet to run the football against Oklahoma. Has both of his running backs back. There's that shuffle pass to Woods. And Woods on first down. Picks up about eight yards. They're receiving and rushing. They put up a lot of yards. Batch stays in. He'll get the first down. Beautiful run as he comes crushing across midfield to the 46-yard line. Time, but can't find an open receiver. Finally, far side and out of bounds. They just have to calm down and believe in what their scheme is. The flare to batch. I believe he got another first down. No. 7-0 Oklahoma leading here. They did get the first down. Throwing to Batch on the outside. And, and yards after the catch. They have to eliminate him. Good job there by Dominic. First sack. He, he threw it. There was a receiver. They're marking him down. Crabtree all the way at the bottom on a big third down here. If we can try to make a huge play on third and long. Second sack. Consecutive sacks. Gerald McCoy. Up the looks. LaCour fumbles the snap and does get it off. Had they had any kind of a block on, they would have oh. eaten him up. And oh, are they lucky here for the Sooners. Coming down toward the final minute of the opening quarter, and Brown will bring that clock down. 
Second down and five. Bradford has all day throwing to Grisham, who's wide open and in a foot race. Out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Nice accurate throw by Sam Bradford. He's 4 of 6 for 73 yards right now. Coming back with Brown. Oklahoma with 150 yards of offense in the first quarter. Seven points, and more importantly, they shut out Texas Tech and held them to 50 yards. And we'll return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Sam Bradford, and let's see if the Texas Tech defense can hold up. And there was a penalty flag. Trying to get a hit start. Offense number 72, five yard penalty, still second down. Rush four, not putting heat. Here's Gresham, another first down. <laughs> Brown, 11 yards before they're able to bring him down. You see him on the backside and gave Brown plenty of room. Brown, cut off. Slashes back. Touchdown, OU. and make you pay for over committing to one spot to, that you're committed to to be able to slow down. You slow down the run and they'll, they'll hurt you throwing it. Jimmy Stevens adds the extra point. And Oklahoma takes a two touchdown lead on Texas Tech. Chris Whale kick it away again. Fielded on the 20 yard line. And a return out to the 37. Let's check in. Big drive here for the Red Raiders. Down a couple of scores. They've been stifled. That screen game has it gotten going. Now they're going to try it on first down, and they three now is off to the right side of the formation. Harold guns it, and Crabtree the target at midfield. Part of the line of scrimmage, so they're going to have to start throwing those digs just like that behind the linebackers. They've set the screen again with Batch met and blown up second down and 11. batch breaks the first tackle nice run first and 10 for the red raiders another one on oklahoma but the shannon woods the running back and drops in underneath to his safety valve. But there's the elf. There is Morse. Uh, <laughs> down at three. Got it away. That's the crab tree play. The Graham Harrell has to find his third and fourth receiver. They show blitz. Harrell deflected. The second time on a blitz that they have been able to deflect. Steps away, incomplete. For TCU, there is Murray slashing his way to the 30, 40. And Murray having a huge night. More yards for Murray as he approaches 100 in the first half. It starts with, again, the running game. Great blocks downfield by Iglesias and Manny Johnson. Bunch on the left, Bradford. Hasn't touched the ground yet. And here's Murray off the pass. 40, 35. And Murray to the 30-yard line for another first and 10. Looking for a spark. And there's Ruffin on that far side. Everybody do their job. That was the chant. Wall, the corner. Just outfought Texas and Oklahoma State. Who's on the other foot tonight? Brown. Spinning. And trying to just be able to play as a group right now they look like they're rattled as a team play action going in zone touchdown oklahoma jermaine gresham that was a beautiful play action freezing the backers just enough gresham releases into the end zone and oklahoma
Oklahoma is up by three touchdowns. Stevens tacks on another extra point. Folks, that is four Oklahoma possessions and three touchdowns. Put on a show in Norman, aren't they? That'll be part of their argument on the BCF computers if they have to decide this tiebreaker in the Big 12 South. This is fielded on the run on the 20-yard line by Wall. Wall runs up and out of bounds. Graham Harrell will see if he can get things going. He moves Michael Crabtree into the backfield alongside of him. And they run back out of that formation. It is second down and five. There is Batch, and he is blown up. Short. One at Crabtree. Backpedaling. Incomplete. Broken up. Talking to his offensive teammates. Anything to rally the troops. But the way things are going, they're going to be down four touchdowns. That was Moses Madu, his first carry of the night. And Coach Patterson goes up to Kansas State. But Kevin Wilson doing a superb job of calling plays here tonight. I cannot believe Bradford finally couldn't find an open man. Sprints out of trouble. What a night Bradford is having. First and ten. Pocket and finds a nice crease in the defense and picks up that first down. Kevin worked so hard on with Northwestern. He was the offensive coach up there. Again, Bradford. Instead of a bad play, trying to make something good happen. 300 yards of offense for the Sooners. Play fake. It's like practice. Juggled. Incomplete. Need seven on this third down. Picks it up. Touchdown, Joaquin Iglesias. That was like backyard keep away. 28 yards and another Sooner score. Four touchdowns. They have gone 76 yards, 84 yards, and 55 yards, all in less than two minutes. Moreland kicking it off, keeping it on the ground, and uh, the Red Raiders with a loose football. Did the Sooners get at it? Expect the unexpected with Stoops. What Harrell and this offense under pressure can do. Which is pulled down Jackson. And the elf, Morris, to the 24-yard line, and he's barking at that defensive back. They have a holding call to bring this play back. Personal foul. Oh. Pass the face. Defense number 96. Well, they catch a Pass break here. Line. First down. In zone, juggled incomplete. Had it. He's going right back for it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Trumaine Swindle. And what a huge score this is at 628. As Harold just kept on bringing it. One of the kickers ever since. He's had the extra points, and he's been perfect on extra points. The ultimate walk-off. New kickoffs. Corona gives it to him, and Iglesias says, take a knee and let it come out of the 20-yard line. Let's get here. It is 28-7, Oklahoma leading Texas Tech. And the Red Raider defense finally makes penetration and can't stop Murray. 12 yards. The battle at the line of scrimmage, and they've not been able to do that at all. Get up, DeMarco! Come on, Phil! 
to work out. Pithen Kunai Pri, it's probably the fastest no huddle in the country this year. Absolutely. Murray again. Chris Brown for the first down. He was a high school mm -hmm. coach, really, so uh, like you, he grew up around the game. Bradford has not been touched in that backfield. He's had whatever he wants to throw the ball. The offensive line has done a great job and he drops off the screen to Murray. Murray drops back now. Going to lose some yards unless he can break free. And he does. Turns it into a gain and a first down. What a half for DeMarco Murray. He plays this as number nine. At the bottom of the screen. Going back with Brown on the clock. Staying in bounds and... Uh, and that would be Lloyd Holt, Robinson, Cooper, Walker, and Williams. Brown for another first down. It's all about this running game. Here comes again, Murray. Wonder how fatigued they are as they continue to just get pushed around. Sent down to play once. Chris Browns is running back and straight ahead goes Bradford for the first down. First and goal. With Brown smashing into the end zone. They have made it look easy. In all the pregame hype and chatter about this game, the question was which defense, which defense is going to stand up? By five touchdowns stopped only once that was the second time I think a lot of people thought the Texas Tech offense would be able to execute better fielded back near the goal line and out to the 25 yard line 42 points in the first half folks but nobody thought one team would have 35 of the 42 and uh, here is Batch Accepted at midfield. Picked off by Lewis. Lewis with great speed. Headed in zone. Just short. They've got all three timeouts in 21 seconds. She can shove it. The play had ended. Personal foul, Texas Tech, number 76. Hopper misses to the goal. First down. Now Murray. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It's a stomping in Norman, folks. An old-fashioned stomping. Tax it on. Graham Harrell, the quarterback who has set the bar in college football this year with his accuracy and decision-making, continuing to struggle. An errant throw. Mullen with an assortment of kicks here tonight. Woods. They're loving every moment. There's an inside the batch for a shuttle pass. Out near midfield. After the play ended and the offense had gained enough yardage for a first down, personal foul. Offense for 19. 15 yard penalty, first down. You got a high powered offense. If the defense can regroup a little bit, huh? What does Texas Tech have to do? I want to see if their defense can step up and only this onside kick here. Well, it's one way not to start the second half. 55 yards and they marched out. I'm going to false start right on that far side. False start. Offense number one, five-yard penalty. Running the football for 226 yards in the first half. He hasn't needed to be. This is Murray at 100 yards first half. We got to attack and tackle. 30 more minutes. The bus isn't going anywhere until it's over. Bradford rolling hard to the right. Penalty on the play. The... Holding offense number 18. 10-yard penalty. Still second down. Struggling with the tempo of this no-huddle offense that Oklahoma's been bringing to him all game. 
Rodgers, Murray sprinting on the outside. And there's a third and 22. Oklahoma five of six on third downs and not favored here, but they're going to let Murray see if he can run for it. He's run for everything else. Flair first down. Pretty easy, wasn't it? Just fall tonight. Doing a pretty good job of catching it. And they finally get Johnson involved. Now remember, he's playing with an. And you see the pressure over the right side of the formation. It'll be Brown. Third and six. Run the toss play with Brown. Good stop that time. And they just haven't kicked that many field goals. And this will be a 33-yard attempt. And uh, Stoops is kind of interested in what his kicker might do. That looked pretty good, didn't it? That had a little distance to it, huh? <laughs> it's young man's going to be okay for it. Redshirt freshman from Oklahoma City. Time out. So, I am sure that Bob Stoops and the Sooners are well aware that there's a lot of firepower over here on the other side. Wall brings it up to the 32-yard line. Let's, and now they are just one win away from taking on Penn State, which would be a rematch. Here comes Woods on the handoff for the Red Raiders. And he breaks out to the 39-yard line. Because of the coverage, they've been able to get pressure on Graham Harrell. Which spins and... Remember what Mike told Lisa at the end of the half. We didn't do the little things. That's a little thing. That's a first... No, they fumble it away. And it's Oklahoma football. The nightmare continues. Keenan Clayton scoops the fumble up and brings it back to the two-yard line. Brown. It'll be second down to go. Let's go back. Yeah, and Frank Alexander yep. leading the way, too. And Brown battling, battling. Stop, still going. Falls into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Ball down. Jimmy Stevens tacks on another extra point. It is all Oklahoma. Oklahoma has dominated on both sides of the ball. And it means an awful lot to the Sooners as well as the Red Raiders. And that will be a penalty. The Longhorns actually need the Sooners to beat Oklahoma State for the three-way tie. Incomplete. You can see he's basically putting four down linemen, dropping the backers off. They're picking up the receivers in underneath. And that blow was delivered to Oklahoma defense. Holding. Holding. Offense number 74. 10 yard penalty. Oh. Repeat second down. Otherwise, you have nine new starters playing right now compared to where they were a year ago. Getting a push. And getting a drop to the running back, Batch on the outside. There's Crabtree on that flanker screen coming into the middle, breaking a tackle. His most impressive play of the night. And he's horse collared. Tack it on. There are fouls by both teams on the play. Personal foul, hands to the head by the offense number 12. Personal foul, horse collar by the defense. Those penalties offset. Repeat, third down. Open. Crab tree. Can't battle for the first down. Puts it on the ground. Wraps it up himself. Rushing four. Can he find somebody? He does on the move. To the 25-yard line is Lewis. Pump fake by Harrell gets that screen. And broken up. Second and ten. 
Harrell's got a lot of time. Strikes in the middle. First down at the 10-yard line. That's something the Sooners have done a good job of taking away all night. Flushed. Out of the back of the end zone. Perhaps Jacoby Franks replaces him. Trying to put pressure with Box. Outside and deflected away from Jacoby Franks. Now, far outside at the top of your screen. Comes back to the middle for a touchdown. And that is Morris the Elf. The Elf with a little bit of magic because it looked to me that the linebacker there got his hands on the football. Knocking it through. Five and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. And the Sooners with a big lead. That pass was deflected and Morris, like you said, stuck right with yep. it. ABC. Corona kicks one. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. And the Beavers will meet Penn State. That will be something, man. A rematch of a game won easily. Ball dropped incomplete. This team struggle in September and then come on strong throughout the conference uh, conference schedule. Hey, Bradford's going to be tackled. How about How that? About that huh? and Bradford thought he was playing touch football. Third down and uh, it's a only negative. Legal substitution. Defense. Twelve people on the field during the substitution. Five-yard penalty. Still third. Oklahoma knows this offense as well as he does. They ran it for a year. It got refined, certainly. Mark Mangino refined it to a large extent when he was the offensive coordinator. That was Chuck Long. And Leach would be over in the corner watching Howard Stern on television, and he would say, uh, Mike, turn the TV off when you leave. <laughs> you got a picture. Mark Mangino, uh, Venables, Herbie, he was, what, interviewed by Clemson? Is yeah. that what you told me? That's right. Bobbled a little bit, and, uh, and that's a direct snap to Crabtree. <laughs> All right, Batch and Shannon Woods are in there now. Oh, that could have been picked off on a little bit of a deflection. I'm still thinking about Mangino trying to sleep. <laughs> Leach watching Howard Stern. Third down and 13. Slips away, but in deep trouble. Yeah. You know, he's got a strong arm. He does. If this lead holds on, as dominating as this is, it's going to become a Texas-Oklahoma discussion, regardless if it's a three-way tie or not. Right, right. But, uh, he's finally getting his chance. He's, he's, he's handled the pressure very well, I think. There's another penalty flag. Comes flying on this play. Right. Will determine... Defense number 92. Five-yard penalty to pay first down. Oklahoma... We would have at Oklahoma City, or I should say up at Stillwater, yep. against Oklahoma State. And if they all win, it's a three-way tie. And the opportunity on stage tonight, on stage now, next Saturday night. And it's going to be style points and the hot team in the Big 12. Now the Gators have been red hot. The Horns idle this week. Uh, and you worry for them, and it needs to continue to be brought up that they did beat Oklahoma head-to-head. -head. And that's going to be the, the, their one thing. Oh, <laughs> caught beautifully by Johnson. Oh, my. Catches it with the, the left with hand. The, yes. Yeah. With the injured elbow. His first catch of the night. How about that, huh? 66. Oh, uh, Something misfired. A bad uh, misfire on the extra point. Let's, let us go back to this spectacular catch by number one. Here he comes. What a grab. about because of the exposure of these, this game and next week's game. There's Wall again. He's been busy. Who do you put ahead? I, I don't have Florida a vote. or Oklahoma? I don't have a vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, you're my voter, okay? okay. He, that the Longhorns would be undefeated, and I feel for that little defensive back on that pop-up. Before the crab tree catch. Okay. Short of the first down. Lewis. There he is. Brent Venables. The defensive coordinator. At Oklahoma. And we'll return after this message and word from our ABC stations.
is fourth down and one for the Red Raiders. Miss here, and it'll be a very short field for the Sooners. Going to bring the end around. He won't get there. Sooners football. Two outstanding coaches. Amadou um, will check in as the running back. Prior to the snap, ball star. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty, still first down. All those yeah. names on there, the one name you have to know for me is Beyonce. <laughs> All right, because your wife won't let you in. All right, all right. <laughs> Woo! Beyonce's yeah. a heck of a tomorrow night. <laughs> she's going to be a winner? Oh, she's a winner, no matter what she finds. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Trying to figure out where we're going next week, and now we know. Huh? That's right. We're going to be in Stillwater. They're going to come back with a, uh, a screen themselves. Broyles end zone. Wow. What a performance by the Sooners. I got one for you, Herbie. What about the possibility of an Oklahoma-Texas rematch oh. in the Orange Bowl? I would love that. Can you, can you figure out a way to get well, that we done? better talk to Alabama and Florida. That's what I was going to say about the Gators. <laughs>